Okay, she's just like, and you've severely damaged the rest of your foot. Yeah. So no broken bones, just severe damage. ligament damage, and one yeah, that okay. is snapped in half. I just absolutely nailed the shit out of him. <laughs> Laid him out. Laid, he did not get up. He had to get stretched <laughs> off the field. I've, I've gone in to grab one of them and just out of nowhere, just chipped to the fucking face. I've staggered back and I'm like, is what the... is that? Before we jump into the episode today, this podcast is brought to you by Manscaped. The best in men's below-the-waist grooming. Axel, have you heard about Manscaped's new product, the Lil Mower 4.0? This little puppy. Imagine a sleek, well-designed and optimized trimmer that makes shaving time your favorite time in the bathroom. That's right. This fourth-generation trimmer, perfect for your family jewels. Mate, I'm blown away by how well this thing operates. It's better than anything I've used, and trust me, I've used a lot. I was eight or nine when I had my first shave. Axel, I hear you have a bit of a horror story with shaving downstairs. Well, mate, I think back to my first time ever going to shave downstairs and uh, went in with a straight razor, went out with one nut. <laughs> well, that's obviously an exaggeration. But I know, with the Lawn Mower 4.0, my balls are safe. With this new trimmer and its advanced skin-safe technology, I feel incredibly safe and secure shaving the boys. Now, Axe, we all know it can get pretty dark and gloomy down there. Too right, mate. Well, the Lawnmower 4.0 comes with a 4000K LED light. Now you can navigate your balls with no worries. Hey, Tinny, guess what? What? You can even customize your trim with sizes 1 to 4 guard lengths. Wow, and it's even got wireless charging with a battery that lasts longer than ever. Men, if you've been shaving with the same nut trimmer you've been using on your face, you've been doing it all wrong. No one wants to end up with pubes in their mouth. Join over 4 million men who trust Manscaped. Use code CULTSTATUS for 20% off at the checkouts. And free shipping. Manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the use of the code CULTSTATUS at Manscaped.com. Unlock your confidence with Manscaped. Hello and welcome to episode 21 of the Cult Status Podcast. Brought to you by Manscaped and Origin Apparel. Uh... Today we're joined by a very special guest, both what we think as a guest and also as a great person. Yep. Lawson Hinton, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good to be here. I'm yeah. very excited. Very <laughs> special guest, schoolmate, teammate. Family? Nephew. Family. Yeah. Uh, what, so what's Lawson, there? you're my nephew. You want to explain, if you can, how, and then I'll, <laughs> I'll come cool. in. Um, so, Axel's older brother. Yes. Your uncle. So you can call him uncle for the entire right. episode, please. Uh, uncle, uncle Axel's uh, older brother, Uncle Sam, <laughs> um, he married one of my cousins. Very, very distant cousin, but one of my cousins. So... You got a few cousins, don't I you? I have a few, fair few cousins. So technically, if we're splitting hairs, Axel, Uncle Axel is my uncle. Um, so... Yeah. Well, it's not splitting hairs to think that, you know, my brother married your cousin, so that kind of makes us second cousins because I'm the generation above you. Cousin, uncle. I'm uncle, your uncle. Uncle Axel, yeah. And I remember when I made that connection about year seven or eight <laughs> at school, it took you a bit to come around to it. Oh, it, it was it was not, not as easy as you'd think, you know. I got... Arnie, Arnie Emma working as a music teacher, and then I got Uncle Axel sitting yeah. next to me in class. It <laughs> annoying, was a, annoying the shit out of you. Yeah, it was a bit of a bit of an adjustment, uh, <laughs> the least to say, to say the least. Was I a good ra- male role model in your life? Oh, mate, better than half the ones I've got at the moment. Um, Ooh, a bit <laughs> of smoke, a bit of smoke for Simo there. Uh, he's not going to like that. He's, a, he's a big Kimbo. watcher. He loves it. Oh, Simo, if you're out there watching. <laughs> Should be in bed, mate. You could say whatever you want because he's no, never going to watch oh, it. Oh, I'm making him watch it, mate. I'm sitting him down. <laughs> sitting him down at the next family dinner. Oh, I hope Axel's invited. Oh, <laughs> snack, yeah, I un- host him. Uncle Snacks, mate. You'll be there. You can carve the turkey. <laughs> Thanksgiving, mate. Now, Laws, you have brought in a little surprise with us today. I have. I've got... And uh, you're wearing it on your I've on got your my, ankle. my own special guest. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, What's the go with that, mate? Yeah, explain the story. The go. All right. So, working a, a nine to four down at the left bank, 
stop by if you ever want to. I don't know. Um, working a nine to four. Very crusty. Shouldn't have been working probably. Um, anyway, finished the shift, sitting down with the boss to have a few beers after after we're done. Had a couple. Um, I'm definitely on my full license, Mr. Police Officer. Drove to the Bottolo. Bought a carton of those uh, negative 196 things. You know, the Santori's. Yeah. You know, yeah. the lemon. Oh, they're the going that, up at the minute. The one that tastes like Solo but gets you fucked Mate. up like Beavis. <laughs> they, um, they are going off at the minute. No joke. I'm seeing them everywhere and vouch, they are so nice. They are. They, they are legit. They're a can of Solo. Didn't realise Tinny was with, actually Mate, a huge with, fan. I've actually, I've been, Vodka. like, I've heard this. Drink I heard it. It's it. a drink of the summer. It is. I have had, I've tried it. It's nice. Drink, they of, the are drink of the summer. So yeah. go um You've heard it here first. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> down down at the the local uh first choice liquor, decided, you know what? Ten pack's not gonna do me for this evening. Go a slab. Yeah. Pick it up, not as cheap as you'd think. Entire day's work, gone. And mind <laughs> you, apprentice wages, so shit all. Yeah, um, chef, let's just say chef's apprenticeship. Chef's apprenticeship. Chef's apprenticeship. We'll get into yeah, that. Yeah, we, we do later, talk yeah. a lot later about that. Um and then, so, bought the slab, drove to uh, the party, parked up, walking in the house, Macca's bag full of chicken nuggets, and, With you, and the slab that? over the shoulder. Yeah, of course. Oh, you're Mac. a cult <laughs> hero. Mac. Oh. You're if a you cult hero. You nuggets so. for everyone. Yeah. So. I reckon they were for himself, but carry on. <laughs> I was giving him the benefit of the doubt rested, there. Rested the slab down. Got stuck straight in. Anyway, bit bit further on in the night, let's say a slab further on in the night, um, <laughs> I've found myself in need of a uh, tactical yak. Tack yak. Yeah. yeah. And so... Oh, you're a big fan of them. Yeah. I'm, well, mate. Oh. They're, 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 <laughs> Rarely they're my, a night goes by that you don't. <laughs> mate, they're my cheese and crackers. Anyway, I've heard this from other people. Can't remember the whole ordeal myself, but according to um, many of my fans out there, I've looked at my mate, said... I need a yak and run and jumped off the first story balcony, which is about three meter drop, give or take. Um, I can't remember the jump and can't remember the fall. Oh, can't remember the landing. Can remember the fall. Oh. So I've pretty much remembered going down and then remember sitting up against the wall, pissing myself laughing on the phone with my boss Telling him I can't work for the next four weeks because I've shattered my ankle. Don't call your boss when you're drunk. Does it sob you up at all? For nah, when... mate, it does not. It, like, when you're that drunk, it does not. Like, so I've gotten up and gone back up the stairs, hobbling as I was. And someone's like, what have you done, Lawson? So I thought you just went to Yak. And I'm just like, oh, nah. Just done the yeah, ankle. Yeah, yeah. I, did, I did go to Yak, but I, just <laughs> went thought, to, I, I yeah. thought I'd rather Yak uh, down, down yeah. uh, like, under the balcony. Uh. Yeah, that one. Um, done the ankle. And then next thing I know, I'm in an Uber to Frio, and it's taken me to Left Bank, where I work. Uh, the the person who ordered it's just like, I'll send you there. They'll look after you. What? Yeah. <laughs> send me the fucking hospital. Put, yeah, put me, put me at, at work <laughs> instead of the hospital. Thank you very much. Um and I'm talking to the Uber driver on the way and I'm like, mate, we're heading the wrong way. We're going to Freo. We're going to Arbor. Drop me in Freo. <laughs> with uh, the shattered angle. With the shattered. So I'm hobbling around. I'm, I'm in the back of his Uber. He gets to where Boost Juice is in Freo, stops the car and says, get the fuck out. Yeah, so I'm <laughs> guessing a bit more went on in this Uber that probably you <laughs> oh, don't even know oh, about that. Probably not. The pain had set in by then. Apparently, I've, <laughs> I've, I've gotten out the Uber and I've just walked to the Cappuccino Strip and I'm walking along. And I've been told this by the person who ordered me the Uber, who had gotten a lift there with someone else. They said they saw me fall over as I'm walking towards the Arbor from uh, Mezzo Mart. Shout out to Mezzo. Um, <laughs> it helped me out a lot. Not really. Anyway, saw me literally just fall over onto the ground, pulled the car over, threw me in the, in the van. Mind you, a white van that time of night with an intoxicated person. Bit of a dodgy look. Anyway... They've taken me to Left Bank, not the hospital, Left Bank, again. I yeah. love the Left Bank. You just love I just, work. I'm hey, magnetised. I'm magnetised At, at the this place. point, you're saying, please send me to the fucking yeah. hospital. Yeah. Anyway, get get to Left Bank, walk straight in. Thank God my boss had gone home. But someone else was, was sitting out the back 
And they're like, what are you doing here, mate? I don't see and I'm the like, plan here. <laughs> I am fucked and I've fucked up. Oh, jeez, I've got to stop swearing, eh? Anyway. Nah, you say what you want. Anyway, <laughs> I've, I've walked in, I've sat down on the couch. One of the people's walked over and they're just like, pint of swan loss. And I'm like, yeah, can you grab me some ice and a, a cup of water as well, though? And they're like, why? And I'm like, oh, I've, I've shattered the ankle. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, I make, might it, need... make it two pints. Make it two pints <laughs> what, and a couple of Panadol. What actually is the damage? <laughs> the yeah. damage. Oh, so um, I went and got an ultrasound because you can get that on them on ankles. And I, <laughs> yes. have, I have completely... Pretty sure they work all over your body. Yeah, not just on pregnant ladies. <laughs> mate, I, the, the doctor sent me for an ultrasound. I'm just like, I'm not showing that much, man. Jesus. <laughs> anyway, um, sent me for the ultrasound. I'm getting it done on the ankle. And the lady's looking at the screen and she is wincing. And I'm like... You're meant to not be able to... You're not meant to do that in this line of work. You're scaring the shit out of me. I'm starting to panic. And she's just said, well, you've completely torn your ATFL, which is like one of the easiest ligaments to tear in your ankle. It's the one you do when you roll your ankle. Um, and she's just yeah, like... Yeah, the ATFL. Yeah, the ATFL. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Um. Anyway, she's just like, and you've severely damaged the rest of your foot. Uh. So no broken bones... <laughs> Just severe damage. ligament damage and one yeah, that okay. is snapped in half. And, uh, and what did what they have to say about your brain? Mate, <laughs> still there or? I don't think it was existing. Ever there to begin yeah, with, eh? they, were they like talk about severe damage? Yeah. Oh well, I told them I didn't remember much, and they're just like, "Oh, did you hit your head?" And I'm just like, "No, I'm just know. fucking idiot." <laughs> um, how long are you out for then? With that? Well, doctor's recommendation: I should be in the moon boot for eight weeks. Um, six to eight weeks, depending on how recovery goes. And when you ben- when are you going back to work? Um, next Wednesday. Wait, <laughs> mate, need the dosh, innit? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> in you it need from... that twelve an hour, eh? Yeah, I need I need that money. Um... <laughs> oh well, yeah. <laughs> unbelievable. I'm I'm actually speechless because <laughs> there's a lot more to that that I did not know. Yeah, wow. Well. <laughs> it's, uh, it's... I want to I want to know what happened in the Uber. Yeah. I wanted. I'd love to know as well, mate. <laughs> I reckon <laughs> Call I'm, him up Get him to send me the footage Look I want to put money on you Actually telling people Can you take me to, to work Like left bank Oh I'm most I reckon likely, that's why You ended was, up there was, Going um, there twice I was on the outs with mum Yeah Having a bit of a spat with her And so I'm like Can't call this woman Because she'll just say Told you so yeah. Well I told you so Did she say this was going to happen Oh mate she said yeah, You'll be hobbling through the door And so I'm just like Don't want to give her the satisfaction So I've called up You know Preston Hinton, big big watcher. I know you'll be listening or watching. Yeah. Yeah. You told me your brother rang up. At, you know how he told me this was, random number came up, and I was like, "Hello," and he's like, "Hey, it's Preston." <laughs> and I was like, oh, "G'day, Presto," and like he tells me about how you've busted his ankle, and then he goes, "Oh, so you know I'm working at Revo. You've actually got to pay. Uh, you, you haven't paid your fees yet, mate." Uh, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh yeah, uh, let me get my card, Presto." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh mate, classic press. Love the old monthly call from him. <laughs> oh, stalker he is. Anyway, so I've called up Presto, given Dad and a couple of my other brothers a ring. Called up Presto, can't hear a word he's saying. Next thing I know, dead quiet, and he's shouting through the phone at me. <laughs> fuck, uh, fuck off. I'm at Arbor. I don't want any trouble right now. And I'm like, <laughs> I've shattered my ankle. I need. <laughs> I don't want I, the trouble. Um, I know. You, I know you don't want the trouble. I need There's help. the trouble. <laughs> but I you need, know, brother, I need a hand. brother things kind of brotherly love. Uh, so I've hung up. I've said, you know what? I'll get one of my. I'll just crash at one of my work workmates' houses. Go to the hospital in the morning. Ten minutes later, mum's rocked up. Presto has <laughs> sold me out. Oh. And I'm like, mate. God damn it! What have you done to me? Oh, so big, big fight on the way home. She's like, did, did, do you want me to say it or do you know what I'm going to say? And I'm I like, told you so. Say it. F- say yeah, it. fucking say it. Say it. Told you so. And I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> let's move swiftly onwards. Yep. Yep. Uh, lost, Get away from it. Yeah, that. with the nicknames here, yeah, we're going to go through your nicknames. Yeah, because you, you have got a few. Do you have them all? Um, well, we, probably not. Probably but... not, but the ones that we don't, you just fill them in. We'll just quickly <sighs> rattle them off. You tell us how you got them. Yep. Or the significance. Oh yeah. All right. Yep. That's that's. Oh, cool. Easy. I'll go first. Obviously, it was in your profile, sausage. Oh. There's a bit of a story behind this one. If there you don't is, mind, I I'll don't tell remember it. it. I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you. So, Good. 
Lawson wears these pair of skins. He's always played footy in that. They're really long skins. Don't worry, Massive. it comes into so it. So long. Shame, shame I didn't bring them tonight. Yeah, you should have been, should have been <laughs> wearing, wearing them. Uh, you wouldn't have busted your ankle. No, but definitely They're, they're, they're genuinely really, like your three-quarter skins. The three-quarter like. skins. We all have a mate. <laughs> Down to the ankles. <laughs> and um, they're similar to Shane Mumford, who mm. just retired from the AFL. He has this same skin. So we thought the comparison, so we call him Sausage. Because that's Shane Mumford's nickname. Yeah. But How did Shane Mumford get that nickname? Yeah. Shane Mumford. Uh, a video in around 2018, <laughs> about 2019, started circulating of him with the boys. I think uh, there was a bit of cocaine on the table and he's got this big sausage line lined up and he's, you know, ripping into it as they do. And uh, all the boys are chanting, sausage, sausage, <laughs> sausage. And yeah, that's the story that, how you got the nickname stuck. Sausage. It's the skins purely, I can yeah. assure you. Yeah. I yeah. never never go near the nose beers. <laughs> not, not good for the chef life, is it? Oh, no, anyway. no, no. No chef has no. ever done cocaine, ever. Mate, never, never. They um, just stick to Red Bulls. Yeah, whew, that gets them through. <laughs> All right, um, next one. Next we've got one. another one for you. Wolverine. Oh, well, you, might, you might be able to see it at the moment. Um, I forgot about that. I'd one, say actually. it was more younger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come younger, younger, the you, you have got better. The 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 Wolverine was because I can't. You can. You might be able to see how it's. I've not shaved any of my face, right? But the well, most, you have in history. In <laughs> in, in past, I yeah. have. But for the growth, it's all even. But there's no hair here, and my mo is pathetic. Very light. Yeah, I so can, I can just be, say it, and I'm sitting yeah, right. You used to grow right all the way here. Here. Yeah. Used to just grow and it, but off the, the, the sideburns. The, like... the best thing was that it was a perfect straight cut. Like, no, <laughs> yeah. no work. It looks like he's touched it. No, up, touched like, it up. looks like it's professionally detailed, but no work's gone into so, it. No messiness down the bottom. No messiness up the top. Nothing growing there or there. I'm speaking in front of the mic. It's not helping. Anyway, um, but it just looked so perfect. And one of the boys is just like, you, you, you look you, like Wolverine. Yeah, you grow on the face. Probably bit, got it a lot. Grow on the face. Bit of a man. reverse goatee, you could say. Oh. Yes, I could say that. All right, Lawson, uh, next nickname, Hawk. Not a fucking clue. I'll tell ya. So, <laughs> so, for whatever reason, from years 7 to 11, Lawson, 12 I'll say, Lawson used to just rock this mohawk constantly. Oh, yeah. And I think it's just the way his hand naturally went. It is, it's the bed head. Yeah, well, I don't get if you sleep, you must be sleeping with two pillows. Yeah, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I, I can he sleeps upside way. down. I don't know how you, how you do it, but... Um, Perfectly done, mate. No, yeah, it's so just... Hawk the, from Mohawk. Yeah, hawk. The, uh, the, the easy way to do it, I'll give you some pointers if you want a Mohawk, just make sure you sleep on, on one side of your body 50% of the night, and then the other side of your body 50% yeah, yeah. of the night. <laughs> Wake up in the morning... Perfect mohawk. There you go, life hack. <laughs> heard, it, heard it here first. It doesn't even have to style it in the morning. It's no, just, it's just ready to go. Yeah, one clearly. hand straight through the top and you're, you're set <laughs> for life. That's oh, me. That's Lord. why you wear a hat now. Oh, absolutely. We've got another one for you. Lausanne. Oh, Lausanne, the good old uh, Mark Kerspian. Oh. <laughs> yeah, footy coach as yeah. Uh, as Legend. I'm sure people are aware by now. The the, the great man himself. The man, the gets, man. A me- gets mentioned just about every episode, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he does. Loves it. Um, just, but we've just about had the whole footy team. Yeah, yeah that's fair enough. Um, yeah, no, I just rocked up to training. Probably the first first training session of the uh, 2020 season, the great season itself. Um, <laughs> the premiership season. Premiership season. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, not a part of that premiership. But anyway. We'll touch on that. Marky Mark. Um, rocked up to training and everyone's uh, calling me sausage on and on. And and he looks over and he's just like, Lausanne, great to see you again this season, mate. And I'm like, that's a new one. All right, I'll rock with it. And you, yeah, like Stop. all the boys I, call me sausage, Lausanne out of nowhere. Love can it. I quickly <laughs> mention a story of mine? That I've, I don't know if I've ever brought it up with you, but it's don't always so. a memory that's just, I've always makes me chuckle. So I reckon coming back for the pre te- season of the year 10 or 11 season. Oh, I know where you're going. And we're all looking real big. We're all looking big after the after the off season. Get on Mark. And, and Mark looks at Lawson. He's like, Lawson, jeez, did you raid the cookie jar or something? <laughs> <laughs> Mate. I think that's an all-time I ran line. Ex- I fun. ran extra hard that training session. Well, we'll talk. We, we'll we talk do it. touch on yeah, that. We, we yeah, we do oh, touch good. on it. We go through your illustrious footy career. Oh, that's... <laughs> but yeah, just wait one yeah, moment because um, we've still got a couple more nicknames yeah. for you. All right, one more nickname. Cool. Sheriff. Sheriff, mate. I was just... 
I don't get the origin. I I, I'm not 100 percent sure why. I know Caden Bird has Caden, given you that one. Yeah, Caden Bird and you <laughs> get on the, the, the hand in. Calls you the sheriff. Calls. I th- I think it's just because I'm cool. But apart from that, <laughs> I've got absolutely sheriff, no clue. Sheriff Woody, anything no. to? Well, um, no. hopefully Caden will comment down below Maybe. the reasoning behind yeah. it. Check check the comments. If he knows, he will let us know. Doubt he knows though, because that so, man I think <laughs> spurts so some you've, stories. So you've got many nicknames. I reckon if anyone just by looking at you and, and by the way you speak, if anyone comes up with a new nickname for him, <laughs> send it through. Send it through. Let me know. Yeah. I'll, I'll rock it. It'll go on the Insta bio. <laughs> You know. Um, speaking of other Old names, do you, do you have any other ones that we've missed? Because I know you've got so many. Do you, like is that is that the list of yours? That's what All we've right. got. The OG nickname, Tactical Hobo. <laughs> this is, hey, this yeah. is going back to That's year your, four days. That'd be your PlayStation name. Yeah, that was yeah. that was that was the that Insta was, name as well. Insta name back in the day. <laughs> that was that was year four. You should be tactical, but yeah. now you're tactical You've... yakking, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you you four days. Anyway, got to year six, and I was making me Instagram account. Bit late to it, you know. But I just thought, like, why not? Just tactical hobo. And and Nothing then wrong with it. Then a couple of boys just started calling me. And then in the years, yeah. in the yeah, year yeah. six, in the end of year six, like the yearbook thing that you do at, at primary school, it's it's put what what job do you aspire to have? And I'm like, I want to be a homeless bloke. <laughs> I want, to, I want to be homeless. Like, that's just... You, you get coins, you get the, the dollar coffees from 7-Eleven. What's not to love about it? Yeah, what is... You know what? I can't think of anything. I can't think of anything. That bad about it. You young do Lawson, you, mate. mate. Young Lawson had some weird well, dreams. I'll tell you what. If you if that was the case, I don't think you'd be drinking some Tories. And I don't oh. think you would be breaking your ankles. So. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> Could have saved you from... Still a long way ahead of me, though, boys. Not going to lie. <laughs> anyway. I hope you Still don't end up like that. Theater. No joke. <laughs> Yeah, don't stop uh, chasing your dreams, eh? <laughs> Never. Uh, Lawson, we're going to go through your your footy career. Footy, yeah. Because oh. obviously, footy teammates. Yeah. Winnicott. Yeah. Uh, basically, your whole life. Bring it um, on. Missed first year Colts. Yes, Great. I did. But, you know, juniors is where the magic happens. Yeah, it is. Juniors it is. is the honest. I have a workmate who said it. He says, you know, junior footy is actually the best footy he's ever been a mm. part of. And it makes sense because. When you get to Amos and stuff, blokes are kind of playing for a bit of fun in the social life. Yeah. Junior footy, year four. You c- in the, the morning of a game, oh, I wake commitment. up. You got the butterflies. I wake up. It's game day. I'm here. I've, I rock up to the ground. Yeah. I, rock, I don't rock up to play. I rock up to win. Yeah. 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 Oh mate. Everyone the is commitment. there. There's no scoreboard, but and, you're there and, to win. And, and you're at school. You're playing against kids from school. The stakes oh. are heightened. You don't want to lose. It makes sense. Junior footy is the best yeah. footy you'll see, including AFL, and that's Absolutely. a big call. I'm sticking Absolutely. with it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Um, yeah, it's bullshit. I'm not getting fucking drafted. <laughs> <laughs> no, I 100 percent agree. Like junior footy. Massive impact, obviously, on, <laughs> on all the boys, all the, including yeah, me. Good, like, good, good, good. Yeah, mate. yeah, yeah. Now, Lewis, impact. Yeah, like, junior footy. You were, you were the fullback, the big fullback. <laughs> Not so good at the fullback kickouts though. Yeah. No, never, As never did like those myself. How many? Always, <laughs> always, always handballed it off to Lincoln if I could. Did what you was have your, a bit um... of a chuckle when you saw the profile? I did, did, yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. No, that was that was a fair, fair, fair comment, comment. Fair comment. Loss, give us a percentage of kickouts that went out in the full. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's not out of it. You want the percentage of, of kickouts that resulted in a turnover immediately, and that is much so higher than out in the full. Sixty. Sixty-seven. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I probably took. I probably not gonna lie. I probably took about five kickouts in my last year, out of the hundreds I would have had to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, think when I was playing back pocket, you threw it, threw it to me. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, the, the amount of no, times yeah. I'd chase that ball yeah. so hard and go, yeah, mine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I want to hear the viewers' reaction to this. Uh, so Tinny started employing this tactic that he really rated it is and he good. was coming out. If, so, wait, I've said it before. If everyone's on board with this, it works. Uh, yeah, so Tinny starts streaming out of the goal square and just gives this big roost of a handball <laughs> that just gets uh, some whoever get receiving it, ca- trying to catch this big loopy handball, gets crunched, turnover goal, usually how it worked. But uh, Tinny, good strap? I wouldn't say it went like that. You're I, filthy. I nail him. I'm looking for the one-two. I'm, running, I'm, I'm flying by, so of course. So you possessions, actually. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. what it's about, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a possession game. But no. It, 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 possession all, footy. Possession yeah. footy if, is how you win junior In all footy. seriousness, it is all about stats. Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah. I the, count mine. <laughs> no. um, at one end. Yeah. Mate, Ray, Razor Ray used to have the uh, the old boys on the sidelines counting up stats. Did he really? I'm, I'm, sure no he clue. I'm pretty sure. Pretty, <laughs> yeah, sure yeah, Mark, yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty sure Mark got fletched down one time to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were like, oh, team stats, not the individual oh. ones. Actually, Law, speaking of fullback, you've had one massive scalp. I'm not sure if you remember this, but we versed Janicott one day. Janicott. And you absolutely towed up. Shannon Neal, who is now playing AFL yep. for the Geelong Cats. No clue. You tore him up. <laughs> Jeez, that's a... That's a I well, can't, a, can't remember. Like, Mate, can't remember time. him. He must you're, have been too good, <laughs> eh? You're big time. A year or two later, he gets drafted, and I'm sitting there going, our fullback tore him up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting there thinking... This week. Does, like, it's a bit of a sliding doors moment. If Lawson doesn't towel him up, does he not then wake up the next day... And think, all right, if I'm going to take this seriously, I've got to put the work in. So yeah. Lawson single handedly got him drafted. <laughs> you, he can attribute his entire career in AFL <laughs> to me. I hope he's watching because I think this I guy well. from you right now, just Mate. not even knowing his name, oh. is going to fire him up even more. I don't even know what he looks like. I'll be <laughs> I'm putting money on him for the brown line. <laughs> oh, come at me, mate. 6160, you know where I live. Now, <laughs> whatever. Um. Uh, Law, so go on for you. So, yeah. back in year seven, uh, what a blinder of a year you had, mate. Oh, uh, how I remember would you... that year. Yeah, yeah, year seven, great year. Out of fullback again. Was I in fullback or yeah, rock? Yeah, you were. Because I, I remember a few years I had, I had the rock Probably a bit of... A um, bit of both, maybe. A bit of both, yeah, chopping yeah. out, you know. There's plenty of rocks that <laughs> chop out fullback uh, when they need. But um, talk us how you went in the BNF count. Oh, <laughs> it was an upset. So I've I've worked my ass off all season, thinking, you know what? I got first in the bag. Real? Did you really go? No, in? no. What did mate. you legitimately think going into? That I went line? in. I, I went know in. It was a shock. Whatever, all right. Whatever. I I went in thinking, I'm hoping I'm getting like ten, maybe fifteen votes, like just just enough to cover me ass. Yeah, right. Fifteen more than I got that year. <laughs> yeah, mind you. Fast forward to year twelve. Think I got one or two. And then year 11, none. Yeah, Thanks, go Mark. on. We want to hear anyway, year 7. Anyway, yeah, we anyway, want the glory day. Year 7, the, the <laughs> best best moment of my life. I'm I'm with I'm in there with Big Presto. Uh my awards obviously get called before his. Um and then out of nowhere, like we get to the last countdown of the rounds and I'm like I'm in the top 3. And we're getting towards the last round. Holy fuck. And I'm not leaving the top three. And <laughs> I'm, I'm still like, in there. there's holding, something. Holding there's... off the captain, Lincoln. <laughs> Mate, <laughs> I do not know what's going on here. And then last minute, it's it's like last game, all done and dusted. Come out with third place in the, in the BNF, <laughs> mate. Like, couldn't ask couldn't ask for better. Well, you could. I could have asked for better. Could have asked for Coach's Award and first as well. Yes, but... I'm glad you acknowledge so... <laughs> that the Coach's Award is the superior. It is the, it is Especially the best Especially the award. second. Yes, that is that is too. Some too say true. this award hasn't actually sunk in yet. <laughs> You're still sort mate, of well, still, working it out. Still living on the <laughs> well, high. Well, we talk about, we talk about humbleness and, 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 you know, and being gracious and all that, but that night, <laughs> Lawson got on Tactical Hobo Insta Mate. Took a selfie With the trophy line on the couch And oh. I think the caption was What's this? It might Could Can we? I know It definitely <laughs> was Because that image is scarred you, in my you brain You know what That if, sounds like to me There's a lot of Nat Fife brown though about that There's a lot of Nat Fife on the couch I wonder couch. if we can compare some, those two Some say he, he took it from me He he saw me do it And he's just like yeah, I'd say his When I succeed is, yeah. When I succeed That's that's like I'm doing that I reckon we compare the two photos If we can get our hands on it And we'll chuck them up <laughs> Mate I'll be struggling to get that photo you, you guys can spot the difference that was, at home That was back in the iPod days <laughs> Before before the iPhone 4 iPod Touch iPod Touch You love an iPod Touch I loved hey. an iPod Touch Now Lewis We did speak Quickly earlier Yes You do work hard at training You run hard I do um, We used to do this thing Before training Where It was, it was a circuit <laughs> The circuit So the circuit. Basically Death Basically circuit. just like A really big lap Of, of the oval It was basically and A half lap yeah. If yeah. we're honest. And uh, you'd, no. Half you'd half. have to do... Well, you, yeah. Half, nah, half the, a willage. That was a bit to it. You, I used to run a with country. you. Me and you were the only so, yeah, yeah, runners. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> the, the requirement was you get to training early, you do your eight circuits. Yep. And then we train. Yep. And everyone yeah. had to do eight. Yeah. Unless, unless like, you did six. You were Unless pretty... you were good at footy, then you didn't have to do yeah, it. You were yeah. committed to this. I was very committed. I think every... 
training session you were there early doing your circuits yep um got there at uh 4 30 stayed at school in the library for a sec and uh headed uh, off yeah, to training and again you used to catch the bus to mine as well yep that that is true big axel shout out to mandy for the snacks before training <laughs> yeah they're bloody good eh? they are good mate. but i didn't notice you started oh well this is with isaac weezer at least oh he stopped Isaac. coming to mine before and started going to Tinny's before. Oh, he Because there traitor. was a better spread of snacks. There was a better. Oh, wow. there, mate, I swear, one t- I went to Tinny's one time because Axel wasn't going to training, I think. Might have, might no, have it was for the snackage. <laughs> <laughs> Rock up to Tinny's. There's a charcuterie board out. Bloody what? spring Wait, rolls. What? What? Bloody, you know, the cheese board things. What do you call it? Charcuterie board. Charcuterie. Don't We're doubt him. Chefs. He's a chef. He's a chef. We're not all chefs. Anyway, bloody Ooh. Vegemite scrolls. I'm sitting there thinking, can I just have a glass of water and may- maybe a bit of bread? And <laughs> I'm sitting next to Weezer. He's bit. digging into it. Bloody look next to me. There's, there's. It was a pack of six scrolls. There's one left. And I'm he's like, Timmy, his... I hope you dug into that. He's absolutely oh, right. Man. Mate, so. He was, he was shark, 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 coochie. Coochie. shark coochie. That's the one. Shark coochie. Shark coochie. Yeah, board. Right. Um, shark coochie board. <laughs> Laws. We'll talk about, uh, you've had a few injuries in your time, as I we have. can see. I have. Uh, talk us if you're thrown, mate. Um, so, I had a bit of a <laughs> bad... Briefly, H1. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. I had a bit of a bad run with the uh, with the right collarbone. Obviously, uh, those who know me, I was in a sling for most of last year. Yeah. Uh, yeah, which tragically actually missed our grand final. Yes, I yeah. did tragically so, miss the grand final. Yep. Unfortunately, but it all started when but I was. But you were there in spirit, mate. Oh, you deserve spirit. the medal. Yeah, mate, hundred percent. I was there at if afters. We were... That's that's all I know. I was there at afters. The post granny, <laughs> the post granny D and M when it's like, you know, you're just a bunch of parties. <laughs> mate, and everyone it's else your there. win more than mine. <laughs> you got us here. Have my medal, mate. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um, uh, good old Simo, living in living with Simo when I was four years old. That's his dad. Yeah, Simo. Um, swan dived off a bench. Um. Landed straight on the collarbone. That was the start of the collarbone issues. Uh, were you intoxicated? Yeah, mate. Four years old. I was swinging, oh, four them, years swinging old. them back with Simo. Oh, okay, yeah. No, yeah, no. Yeah, I was yeah. uh, clean yeah. as a whistle back in those days. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Changed, man. Yeah, you've fast, changed. Fast forward 13 years. 13? 13, mate. I was 17. 13? I'm riding home from work one day, and I decide, you know what? I'm not going to go up the hill because I, I don't want to go up the hill. So I took a side road to get home from work, riding the old push bike. And I've gone around a, uh, a roundabout. And as I'm going, I'm pushing down on the pedal. But my foot slipped off. It's hit the road. And it's gone into the spikes of the bike. And the foot's carried around and flipped me over the front. Helmet's, helmet's gone flying off. Don't know if it was on properly or not. Um, and I've just landed head and shoulder first straight into the bitumen in the middle of the road. And I've I can picture this so clearly. I've, <laughs> I've scraped up my head pretty bad, done the shoulder, woke up on the side of the road, don't know how I got there. An old lady was walking past, she's like, Are you alright? And I'm like, nah. And next thing I know, I'm on the on the phone with Presto. Shout out Presto. Again, Again he's your Again. man oh, when you mate. get injured. The, he's the brother Presto. you call when you're injured. And and uh and I'm just like, oh, I need a lift, and he's just like, Where are you? And I was just like, not a fucking clue. Anyway, that was the first breakage. Second breakage, I'd I'd done Five out of the recommended eight weeks of recovery. And I'm like, oh. I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling strong. Time for a scratchy. First scratchy of the, uh, of the season. Oh. Uh, rock up to the scratchy 20 minutes late because I'd work. Um, so I'm rushing, rushing onto the field. And I'm like, Mark, throw me in. Throw me in. Chucked me straight in. Um, first, first on the ball possession. Get tackled straight into the ground. Done the shoulder. Another, another five, six weeks I remember weeks out. the scream. Oh, <laughs> mate! It was sure so, in agony. I'm so, sure it was high pitched. Sure, sure, <laughs> it was real I, high I, pitched. I thought he's he's done some damage to be screaming like that. Chatting shit. One anyway. more time, and uh, yeah, that the, was the year. last time. Second last, second last. No, yeah, second last game of the season. Um, I'm I'm I've just made a fantastic tackle on an opposition player down in the in the full back. Not goal close, saving from memory. Goal saving, yeah. but not a close game because, you know, no one can beat Winnicott. We're too go- too too good. Um just godly. Too dominant. Too too godly. Anyway, goal saving tackle. Next thing I know, ball's been tossed out because the umpire didn't even call it holding the ball because 
umpires. Um, and I've run over, grabbed the next bloke, tackled him. That tackle didn't go quite as well. Shoulder into the ground. Done again. Done again. Got up. Maybe that was a scream I heard. Uh, no. uh, it was his scream, mate. His uh, scream. His, his head went straight into the ground. I made sure of that. Um, got up, <laughs> holding, the, holding, holding the shoulder, and I'm like, damn. And I just run off, run over to the sideline. I look at Mark, and I'm like, I've done it again. And he's like, oh, no. And that was the last time I've yeah. done it. it and was, that, that was, was the most time. traumatic because two games later, sitting on the sideline, watching... Daz's mum go absolutely nuts as we win the premiership. <laughs> Dario's yeah. mum, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dario, king of Australia. Genuinely, yeah. genuinely, you're a big part of it, so oh, yeah, gen- don't worry about that. But, um, had no I, voice. It might have actually been that year or the year earlier. You actually got yellow carded one day. <laughs> what would you do? I've uh, the, there's been a long kick over the over the back, and someone's <laughs> someone's running running towards it from the centre. And I'm sitting in the po- in the square, and I've seen this bloke, and he's looking over, looking over, and I've just started running out of the running out of the the square, <laughs> thinking you're gonna clean this fucker up. And and he's he's running, he's running, and then he turns around last second to to catch the ball, and just as it's touching his fingers, I've just absolutely nailed the shit out of him, <laughs> laid him out. Lay- he did not get up. He had to get stretched <laughs> off the field. And I didn't even get the yellow card for that. What happened after that? You spat on him and on the stretcher. <laughs> no, no, no. So the... <laughs> yeah, I'm just a terrible, just terrible, yellow, though. terrible sportsman. <laughs> no. So I, he's like, he hasn't gotten up. And so the umpire's <laughs> given a free kick because he reckons it was high contact. Like, fair probably bump fair play on, Fair bump play on. But probably like probably a deserve a free kick if you pretty stretch sh- it off. You're probably pretty, <laughs> pretty sure you're I might have broken his... Collarbone. Pretty sure I might have broken his windpipe. Anyway... <laughs> So there's been a free quick free kick awarded. I'm like, it was a hard hit. Fair enough. They're not going to score a goal because they're trash. But good old uh, Cameron Morrow, he's uh he's yelled, legend yelled, of the club. Yeah, yelled from uh he loves umpires that man. He's yelled from he's right, right next to me. What the fuck's that for? <laughs> and the umpires looked, thought it's come from me. Yeah, oh, right. Pulled out the yellow, <laughs> given the See yellow, you later. <laughs> and I'm like. Wasn't me, whatever. Walked off the field. End of the game, umpire comes up and apologizes to me, revokes the yellow, and I'm like, oh. And the, yeah. thing, the thing about that, is, which is why we love Cam, is he would have seen the whole incident, understood what it was for, <laughs> yeah. but because the decision was made against us, may as well question it. <laughs> yeah. May as well just question it. Eh? Oh, oh. Mate. Now, obviously, you had your year off. Come back. Was it on? Probably... Maybe it, not anymore, it was but... it was on, <laughs> depending on what day and what time we have games. So I'm not I'm still not 100 percent out for next season. There's a, there's a possibility. I'm depending, hoping you're in. I'm hoping I'm Same in. Here. I'm going to say you're 70 percent in. Depending on the recovery <laughs> of the ankle, considering I've seriously damaged two tendons and many areas in my fo- in my foot, possible bone bruising, and completely destroyed another tendon. But missing chromosome. That one too. But. As long as like recovery goes well and I can run without the worry of, oh, I'm going to absolutely screw myself here, season 2022 20, might be on. Beauty. You've heard it here first. Laws is fully <laughs> committed to playing next year. <laughs> uh, mate, got a few viewer questions here for you. Shoot. Shoot. I'm terrified. Uh, Tinny, want to go first up? Yeah, I'll start it off. Um, Metro's. What does it mean to you? We know you're quite the avid, avid uh, uh, I am. Goer. I'm. I'm quite a fan. Um, free drink tickets never go astray. Nine dollar Red Bull vodkas. I had a few in my time. Um, uh, what? Are you, are you yeah, hold up, hold up. Nine dollar Red Bull vodkas every Friday night with free entry. Oh, gents. Right. All right. Sorry, uh, just not regular. I don't go Maddie's on a Friday because I don't. Don't win. recommend it. It's don't trash. Want to chill with it. Oh, but well, you clearly <laughs> go there all the time, don't you? Um, Preacher night. No, but I'm a I'm, I'm a I'm a regular I'm a regular attender of of oh, Metropolis for God now. Yeah, you are. <laughs> um, don't think the boys have ever seen me not there. Um, but no, it's just this is the first time I've ever seen you out of there, eh? honestly. Yeah, yeah, no joke. I the the injuries, but like, but like, the collarbone didn't stop me. I went to I went to you Metro's. Were still used to I went to Metro's with a broken collarbone. 
Kept the sling on. The ladies loved it. It was a conversation so, starter. So the moon boat might be a bit the more The moon of a boat's stopping it. I reckon if I rock up, the sec he's going to look at me and he's like, mate, that's a... You're going to stomp someone's head with well, that thing. And yeah. I'm like... Yeah. Well, I've got a uh, sort of another question, another viewer question. <laughs> it was uh, about one time you attempted to break up a fight. Yeah. Yeah. Talk I us through it. do know what's going on here. Talk um, Who between so, first? Pardon? Who between? All right. So we're out in the we're out in the air, the back area of Metro Smoko area. Um, recently reopened, thank God. Oh, so um, much better. Are they serving drinks out there. Yeah, they are too. It was, it's good. Anyway, thank God. So I'm just standing back having a few drinks with uh my mate Jack Pro. Shout out Jack. Shout out to Jack. We legend. are very very intoxicated and we're just sitting back having a good time. Out of nowhere, corner of my eye, just see massive argument. And next thing I know, there's three chicks pushing and shoving each other. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, we're on here. We're on here. Start, face towards it. Next thing I know, one chick is on the ground and the other's on top of her. And I'm like, we've got to jump in. We've got to do something about this. Because you're a big, Cause big I'm, hero I'm a, Break I'm it a, up. I'm a hero. <laughs> it, biggest mistake in my life. You never, you never break up a cat fight. Um, <laughs> I've, I've gone in to grab one of them. And just out of nowhere, just chipped to the fucking face. I've staggered <laughs> back and I'm like, is what that? is that? And then like, I, it sent me for a spin a little bit. And I'm standing next to Jack and I'm like, I don't think I should go back in. I don't think, <laughs> I, should, don't think I, I should touch that again. Like, let's stay away from this. And then Seki's have walked over and broken it up. But I was, oh, that rocked me harder than the drinks that night. Similar <laughs> incident happened to Tinny. <laughs> oh. Go on. Say it. Right. I don't actually know what we're talking about. We have yeah. no clue. <laughs> when you've actually got need in the fucking balls, man. Oh yeah, we've spoken about this. Oh, yeah, yeah, rough. Yeah. rough. <laughs> oh, How did I get out? You remember? You cop, you cop a few of those. Um, you cop balls. a few of those. We did. I think people picked up. You, you did work hard at school, right? Yep. And people have picked up that you're a chef. Yep. All right. So you're doing your apprenticeship there. Yep. Now school. I just want to know. What subjects do you do? So you must oh. have done general? Nah, mate. Nah, nah. No, <laughs> not at all, unfortunately for me. So I've um, swooped in with the, the six ATAR subjects. Super six? Six ATAR. No, uh, it wasn't the super six, it's... not the suicide six. I, I switched out physics for PE studies. Biggest mistake of my life. <laughs> so Good what old were you Shout six? out to, uh, oh, I can't even say his name. You just bleep Let's it. Let's just um, the, uh, find out what six you did. <laughs> uh Nah, it's the it's the shot put here on himself. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> so so I've done um, chemistry, uh, PE studies, English, uh, religion, ATAR, and then specialist in methods. Wow! Yeah. So all that work, <laughs> all that work to then start a chef's apprenticeship and give up uni. <laughs> Well, you know what? It's, not, it's not off the books yet, boys. We've just deferred for a year and a half. <laughs> you know, my thinking is good on you. You know what you want to oh, do. Oh, I like it. Yeah, that, it. nothing oh, yeah. wrong with it. But no. I think if I knew, if I, knew, I had, I probably I went, wouldn't. I went into do year specialist. eleven and twelve not knowing what I wanted to do. Well, fair enough. What's your favorite home? Uh, uh, favorite way of getting home from metros? Favorite way. I um, I am not. Um, go on, just say it. I like walking home. No, I don't no, like walking no, home. no, or, no. I, or when I'm walking home, I, I'll sometimes just I'll just stick the thumb out on the road uh, and get lucky. And get lucky. Oh, mate, I get lucky all the time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but on the way home with the metros, home. lads, that's the it's the best way it is. No, <laughs> but I've I've been walking home a few times and just just thumb out on the road, not expecting much, and just some lovely people. So glad they weren't serial killers. Pulled over. Cult heroes, you could say. Oh, but, yeah, but I agree. Major potential to be cult villains. Yes, yeah. that too. Uh, could be a cult really, leader. Really, really, cult the leader in there. Yeah, cult leaders. Could cult leader good. instead of a cult hero. That's the that's the mix up you don't want. But in particular, I've got to give out a, a shout out to Mike. Uh, <laughs> remember one particular evening not too long ago, I was heading home, bit of a walk. Yeah, it got to about 4 30, 5 o'clock in the morning. And I'm just sticking my thumb out, walking down, um, would have been... Carrington. Yeah, Carrington. Yeah. would have been Carrington. Um, and he's just pulled over for me. He's just pulled over. And he's just like, where are you heading, mate? And I'm just like, Winterfold Road. And he's like, no worries, get in. Get get chatting to good old Mike. 
And he's like, yeah, I'm on, uh, I'm on my way to Serpentine Falls to go kayaking. And I'm like, right. at five o'clock in the morning on a Sunday, Mike. I'll come with. Yeah, <laughs> no doubt. Um, well, I think that's load, fair enough. Load it's a fair drive load. out there, so. Yeah, no, he... That's how he wants to spend his terrifying. Sunday morning. Fair terrifying. Enough. No, but, oh. It's, it's and then he asked you... Great way to travel for someone who's six two and 100 kg. <laughs> he was like, what size? What size clothes <laughs> <laughs> the laws are, I'm gonna take you. Hear, hear the doors lock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take you back to primary school now. Oh, apparently you actually got banned from wearing jumpers. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. Why? Yeah, you three or four. Oh, yeah. Start of year four, I think it was. Um, gets a bit hot here in the summers, and um, hey, if the viewers didn't know, if you didn't know, we um, do have a few viewers in Cali. Yeah. So oh, yeah. That's that's fair shout enough. out to them. Yeah. But I myself do enjoy wearing a jumper from time to time. So Clearly too much. Yeah. So I I what? used to wear the school jumper every single day to school, <laughs> no matter the weather. And I remember uh, in particular, there was a string of, oh, there was 36 <laughs> to 40, a few of them. Still wearing it. Yeah, days, still, still got the jumper on. Running probably around, a hot Feb, running around, Feb day. The sounds of it. Running around on the uh, on on the oval. My mate um, has got a blood nose just from standing out in the heat. Meanwhile, I'm running around with a jumper on. One of the teachers looks at me and he's just like, "Go to the principal's office. There's, <laughs> there's something wrong with you." And I go to the principal's office and he's just like, "Why are you here?" And I'm like, "Oh, I think it's because I'm wearing my jumper." He's like, "Why are you wearing a jumper for? It's bloody." 30, yeah, 38 degrees, today. Yeah. And I'm like... It's just, drip. For the drip. Yeah, just like my jumper, <laughs> For eh? For the drip, you bitch. And, um, and he, <laughs> he's just like, drip. all right, Lawson, from now on, you're not allowed to wear jumpers when it's this hot. <laughs> because so, why? What, you, tell him why. What do you mean, tell him why? Because you're covered in sweat. No. You're drenched. You know I reckon, what? I didn't used to sweat as much as I Well, did. you know what? I reckon that has... That's the origin story. So what? <laughs> that's the origin that's story. That's your superhero story. Yeah, mate. <laughs> Just let me wear jumpers in 40 degree days and never sweat again. <laughs> Loss, I reckon that Fuck, man. contributed to your sweating profusely. My I skin, think the sweat glands got worn out. My skin condition, most likely. Don't what know. Is it? I don't know. I, like, I just really can, like, seriously think I've got a skin condition. Well, it's kind of known around the team. You don't pat, like, we love getting around each other, but Get you don't pat it. Lawson on the back. Nah, no, you, don't. you can do it. Uh, you can do Metaf- it during the metaphorically in the games, yeah. not at training. Give I wouldn't a metaphorical cause... pat on the back, but I wouldn't. Yeah, wouldn't literally do it. I'd because, even think twice uh, about a fist bump, you know. Oh <laughs> mate, yeah, fist bumps slippery the way to when go. wet. I, nice even ball. then, fifty yeah. fifty. I, I got. No, I'm not gonna lie. I think I got chucked in the center a few times in my career, just so that the other players would stay away from me. Yeah. Bit of a. I'm a. I'm a bit of a, a slippery we, culprit. I've gone to couldn't do get the, their arms around me. I've gone to do the uh, the dude perfect jump with him just slip right up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh mate, glanced off the shoulder. Uh, all right, mate. Um, another viewer question here for you. So this one could be a bit controversial. Could be. But you've been pretty. You've been let off pretty decent tonight. But uh, so was there ever one time that you slept on a trampoline and uh. Uh, yeah, I'll 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 continue from here. Yeah, okay. Thank you, because yeah. I want to say it in a way. To start off, <laughs> the person who sent this in, I know exactly what they've said. They've said Lawson's has passed out on a trampoline out the front of someone's house, and and next morning, the owners found a shit on the on the grass out the front. <laughs> a human shit. A human. Act- a human shit. Human feces and that you were the only and, one. And that, no 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 that I was I was passed out on the trampoline. And and blacked out that night, mind you. But they've sent it in just like that. My story of the evening is I've started off slow, started mixing goon and vodka a bit later on in the night. Big mistake. And then at some point I've realized it's not going great for me. I need to take a break. So I've just gone. I needed some fresh air. I needed to get away from the music. And I've just laid down on the trampoline that's out the front of the house. And then... And then I've had a mate that's like with me for most of the time. They're looking after me. Um, they're sorting me out because I was, as I'm very, uh, as I like to very often, I was tactical yakking that <laughs> evening. Um, and so they're they're looking looking after me, getting me some water. And they left me alone for probably like 15 minutes out of the entire night. Um, and then I've I've gotten up and I've headed back. And then next next morning, the girl whose party it was has walked out the front 
and just sees this shit on the on the grass. That you and, did? No, no, no. I didn't. Like, I am fully convinced I did not do this. You've said you've blacked out. Yeah. You said it was a big one. There was and no... I heard that there was no other possible... Yeah. No, no, no. No, there is definitely possible other people. That well, name them. I, I don't know them. because <laughs> yeah, I guess it's it you. Yeah. It wasn't my party. They weren't my guests. But they were... So, did they DNA test? What's the... <laughs> <laughs> no, the chick whose party was had to go out with a plastic bag and oh. pick it up herself. Oh, it's... No, you um, did not offer to pick it up, saying as well. It was, was not gone. mine. Was not mine. I got, no. I got money on it being you. Oh, man, it's a lo- you're losing. <laughs> All they had to do there. was check it, see what was in it. <laughs> bit of a uh, Alibaba's kebab. <laughs> no, um, fair enough. <laughs> bit of paper. <laughs> yeah. No, um, bit of credit card. <laughs> but no, I headed back to the party and then ended up at Metro's that night. And the person I was with, like that was looking after me guaranteed me that it could not have been me because they left me alone for like 15 minutes and I was in the exact same position when they came back. <laughs> but I reckon you could have just gone back into Mate, I don't family. reckon I got up at all. I don't reckon I could have survived getting up and walking around. I was... Okay, well, we'll leave it there. Let's... Yeah. You, you may not or may have. You're pretty much just saying... Did, no, 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 Did he do it? I just said you may not or may. Yeah, let's let's ask you the viewers. You tell us, you yes tell or us, no. What do you reckon? Did we'll Lawson put a poll out. Did Lawson shit? <laughs> Lawson. <laughs> <laughs> Moving swiftly on. He's, he's Moving fun on. with that. Um, Love that. <laughs> your first time riding a motorbike didn't go so well. No, it didn't. Um, <laughs> Going around the corner. Oh, was it? No, no. It was going straight. I was literally going straight <laughs> on the... It, was, it wasn't even a motorbike. It was just a quaddy. Just like... I was like about eight years old, just going down um, this pathway. And I'm like, tr- struggling a bit, struggling a bit. It's a bit bigger, a bit big for me. And I just couldn't move the handlebars. And I'm just going straight into a tree over the handlebars. See you later. Only going bloody oh. 10Ks an hour. <laughs> but I was eight years old, so I was like... So 10Ks is like 100 k. Yeah, exactly. And you ate it. Yeah. And then... And turning is hard. Yeah. And then <laughs> bloody two minutes later, Jack Pryor... Uh, we're we're riding. He, he's he's steering. I'm on the back, and we've gone around a bend, and he's gone up on a tree stump accidentally and rolled it on top of us. I know. It's landed on his throat and it's landed on my knee. Ooh. I reckon that's where the origin of the dodgy knee started, with Jack. <laughs> Big chance. Oh, his fault. Um, he, he didn't sound like he went came off too. Oh, he either. didn't. He had a he had a bloody fractured larynx or something he oh, was that's yeah. horrible yeah it was pretty bad for him well, yeah but um <laughs> no nah, it was fully his fault Sparking. oh rolled, yeah rolled the quad on top of us both so no sympathy from you nah. yeah especially you... after he's was just he... stitched up with that last yeah, side stitched me up with that last, <laughs> last comment was he on the ground and in pain and you're going this is your fault <laughs> <laughs> no nah, mate you. we were both pinned we, we were literally both pinned under this thing until his dad because his dad was like Russell, us. shout out, Russell, legend. Russell Pryor, love him. Um, he's run over, and he's lifted it off us, and we're just still laying Lucky. there, and we're like, Fuck. cult hero stuff. That save your life, exactly. <laughs> save Jack's life at least. Save me leg. Speaking of it. Jack and his family, yeah. So Lawson, um, everyone, you know, we know it's just kind of you know you're a nineteen year old bloke. You probably got certain things that you know. Rattle your snake, you know. Uh, something you do like, something you a bit don't of a fetish like. type thing. No clue where the fuck this going. You know, like we you know sometimes you might take it a bit too far, or whatever. But yeah, what is there, your, there what are is some your things. Fetish? There yeah. are some things that are off limits. We will clear that up. You, 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 you probably got. Clearly, you like to play with the boundaries. I have no clue what this is about. Anyone's. We Anyone's know, we're stepsister not, we want to mention? Is step, that where this is going? Well, not stepsis. Oh, step mum. Oh, <laughs> shit. So it seems like you do know. I do know where this is going, going now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I was I was around I was around at Jack's house one time and uh, everyone had all his family had gone out for drinks. Not together. They just like they had their own things. His dad was um, away at. It was doing something, and then his well, step an dad's, dad's away. Story. Dad's away. <laughs> he was. He's, <laughs> His stepmom was um, or so, I don't know. He, he the the chick his dad's dating was at at a party with some friends, and um and she'd got home and she she was a 
she was a state. Like oh, Jack and I were our own state, but she was a state as well. And she's she's coming in and she's left her phone in the Uber. But as she's walking towards the front door, she's tripped over and just ate shit on the grass out the front and just continued to lay there, figuring out that she didn't have her phone on her. So she's gotten us to ring her phone and the Uber's brought it back. And we're just, we're like out the front. And then I'm just like, all right, let's, I'll, I'll help you. I'll help you like get in and I'll just, you can get in your room and get in your bed. And then, Wait. and then I've <laughs> taken, like Jack and I have helped her in and then Jack's pissed off out the back. And I've realized that we've left her phone out the front. So I went to get her phone. I'm bringing it back and she's, she's not got her dress on anymore. She had, she had stuff. She just like the dress was just not on. And then Jack's will like Jack's, was like came and knocked on the door and he's just like hey um you're all right you need some water or something and i'm just standing in there and i've like walked out and i'm like yeah she's all right let's go back <laughs> out and get pissed and like next next let's get out of here. next morning jack's like so what was what was going on and i'm just like oh she's nothing nothing was going on nothing and I think he told Russell that I was uh, hitting on hitting on his missus. Yeah, well, that's just what we've heard. Yeah, that is what we've heard. And so Russ was like, Russ was pulling the piss out of me a little bit, just going, "Oh, so trying to steal my missus, are we, Lawson?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, mate, sure, sure. That's exactly what's going on." Well, well you know, there's you're a always bad man. Oh, I'm, all oh. I know is there's one side of a story, another side of a story, and the truth. So we don't. <laughs> know. Even though Lawson's told us this, we don't know if it's the truth, and Mate, we'll never know. That's how half my story so is going. It's up to whatever the viewer wants to believe. That's probably the truth. We'll say. <laughs> well, so, mate, uh, <laughs> that's just about it for tonight. Oh, except for our last bit, oh, sh- which we love. Cult hero, have you got an example for us? I've got an example. Hold up, let me just pull up. I've got, I've got some, I've got something prepared on me. Uh, oh. Shout out Left Bank Ring. Get yeah, some merch bo- down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bottle open Left a, Bank Ring. Bottle open yeah, a ring. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, geez, getting the phone out. Bit unprofessional. All right. No. Oh. <laughs> a person of tremendous charisma who makes followers feel loved and accepted. <laughs> so that's not a cult hero. That's a cult leader. That's a cult um, leader. Yeah. That sounds so pretty good. Bit, no, I think that passes. But that, that's an all right, well, that's an all right definition. Tinny, Tinny, maybe research some cult leaders before you say that, and then I will we'll yeah. chat. Yeah, okay. yeah, I can't say I know what one is. But. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, nah, but a, a, a cult hero. Mm. So leads with tremendous charisma. Who would you say that oh, would be? Man. The Pav? <laughs> nah, mate. Nah, can't can't shout out Pav anymore. He's, he's he, he gets too many shout outs around the place. He's a um, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I still reckon he's a goat, but anyway. Well, yeah. <laughs> Quick story about Pav. I'll mention it. Tinny messaged him to uh, oh, yeah. send me a birthday message. Oh, yeah. I didn't know about it, and Pav says two hundred, please. Pay up, yeah. yeah. Pay up. <laughs> two hundred. Got his check. He said, "Get your checkbook out, Tinny." Yeah. Here's the fee. Get your checkbook out. Yeah, I know you're a Kmart worker. <laughs> just a fan, but uh, speak to my lawyers. It's a month of work right there for Tinny. So oh, you don't basically. have any other cult no, hero I've, examples? I've got, I've got one. Um, as as with the the definition, I reckon Preston Hinton. Yay! Shout dude. out! Shout Love out that. to Preston Hinton, cult hero. Yeah, Could I'm, be a cult leader as well, but we'll go with hero for now. He's um, just a hero for calling me up and getting my taking my money off. Exactly. Me, uh, my late no, pace. that that man is uh helped me in many a pinch. Yes. Good old good old brotherly love. The the, the, the bloke you're calling when the the going gets tough, when the tough get yeah. going, tough people That's get it. When, yeah, when that one. <laughs> yeah, butcher that. <laughs> Must have been a long day. Yeah. I think I think that calls when the time. going gets tough, the tough <laughs> yeah, gets going. That calls for it. We appreciate uh, you coming on. Oh, Legend, thank great you. Great episode. No, no worries, boys. It's uh, yeah. been a pleasure. We're to keen be to here. get you on it for another one. Maybe, yeah. maybe you will team up with Weezer. Oh, oh that would be a special episode. Yeah, very special. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thanks, guys, again. Cheers, Twenty percent off. Use code code cult status. Manscaped. Origin. Have a good one. Boom.